Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Civ 6 with Ambiorix and Ghoul. Now, things are looking interesting. We've managed to push ourselves to second place in terms of culture and we have significantly more tourism than anyone else per turn by a long stretch. Um, but we still need to keep on working, especially as Wilhelmina, Pachacuti and the Scythians are not far off a science victory. And John Curtin is still not far off a diplomatic victory. We could try push for a diplomatic victory. We're only two points behind Patakuti, but it's going to be a long way to get John Curtin to catch up to John Curtin, I think. This Odor Crest here, John Curtin is currently in second place. We are um, in last place because we are actually fighting Pericles at the moment, so there's not much we can really do there. So we'll have to see what we can do. I don't really want to give Pericles any money. Speaking of which, Pericles, would you would you make peace now? You still wouldn't make peace. Purely because it's not actually really worth my while to keep fighting. Uh, I'd be much better off just keeping on pushing. Um, I still want my tank achievement, mind, if I can get it from over there. But for now, we'll just end the turn. And I'm going to I'm going to chase down, going to chase down that tank. Uh, but you guys can probably deal with these rangers here. Not the rangers are particularly tough units, but it's a unit that we can at least get off the field, and it might push Pericles to go to go for a piece, which would be important. Uh, we've got some rock bands coming from Eleanor. The one problem is, is that we don't really have enough faith. Oh, Australia's finished the launch. That's not too bad. Um, the problem is, we don't really have much faith, so we can't keep on pushing other rock bands at such a fast rate. It's a bit late to invest in faith now. I mean, it would still be worth it, but actually trying to get some holy sites down will be tough, I think. Once we get stuff like plantations down, this might also. Also, not plantations, globalization. Now that might be pretty useful as well. Um, I'm going to just walk on you so that rock band goes home. You guys come here. You can shoot that range out of the water. Where's that tank gone? The tank is over there. I'm still determined to try. So, yes. One of you has easily defeated an enemy unit with supreme military formation. That's good. Now let's keep everyone moving along. Because I want to... <laughs> we're going to need to do a lot more work on that tank yet before we're ready. Let's... Repair the reserve. And then we'll need to also repair the grove in the sanctuary because we need to get that back up and running. You guys... Uh, have an effort to appeal. Yes, it's here, isn't it? But I presume I need to get rid of... So let's use this, clear that. Next turn, hopefully, you can build something on there. In of your Dunham, we could get a sanctuary and a grove down. But again, I'm not really sure that's actually needed. Uh, we get a neighbourhood down, an aqueduct, a canal. We need a bit more population before we can do stuff. Any more districts, unfortunately. Could. Just keep on working on Theatre Square Festivals. You can reach this ironclad, this um, barbarian ironclad, that's fine. With steel coming in, our defences will get a whole lot better as well. Walls will become obsolete. And CG support units are no longer effective, so that's going to be very useful indeed. Even just for the sake of protecting ourselves from any counterattacks from Pericles. Although I suspect there won't be all too many. Producing a zoo at Atuka. That's not a problem. Right, let's go to the next turn. As much as I'd like to kill the tanks, I don't want Auckland to have any issues. So I will keep on attempting to make peace with Pericles until he actually says yes. Hey, have some whales. Nope. Still not willing to make peace just yet. I don't want Auckland to go down to all these various tanks. That will be a problem. 
We certainly need some more faith for some more rock bands, that's for sure. Okay, our man arms is destroyed. I'm seeing a lot of rock bands that are not ours, and that's mild concern. It's a real concern, in fact. Ooh, that tank's getting low. And there's also a special session of the World Congress. Eleanor was ravaged by a natural disaster. I will absolutely help them, if only to stop uh, John Curtin of Australia winning, because that would not be very fun indeed. Um, I'm presuming he would have joined in. The best steel. Uh, we also get steel, which is good. Shine the brightest. Who's joined in this? Yeah, so quite a few people have joined in with Eleanor of Aquitaine's Aida Quest. Looks like John Curtin won't win that, so that's fine. Uh, right, you need to keep on working on this ironclad here. So we'll let you guys crack on. At Summer Breather, Arpenum is still rebelling. Which is pretty damn snazzy. Uh, but I need to just get the Grove and the Sentry repaired. Just to get all this stuff back up to its highest level. Um, over at Novia Dunham, however, just keep on working on Theatre Square Festivals. It's working pretty well for us so far. We're five turns away from Ant Antonin Dvorak, and do we want to try to go for Jane Drew? I mean, we're not going to make it because we've dropped down the amount of great engineer points we're kind of earning at the moment. That's a real problem, the 3000 production towards space race project construction. We might want to take that away from someone else if we can. That's probably not going to be possible. SD Lauder. Perfumes would be nice, but again, we're pretty far off that. Looks like Mar Marley's going to be the first one to get that, as expected. Looks like Marley, Rome, the Incans, and the Australians are kind of the real. Heavy hitters are the great people at the moment. You guys move down there. You guys move here. You guys move here. We may as well try and raid what we can from Greece. You guys are just going to have to heal up for now. You can just go... You can just be upgraded to a field cannon. It's fine. Why can you not build a seaside resort? Can they not go to get next to each other? We managed to see side resort there. Hmm. Strange. For now, just go over here, build some woods. You guys can just come over down here. Fishery Metamechos has been raided, that's unfortunate. Oh, there's a big old. There's a new tank there, in fact, so that's a problem. Don't know where the other. Don't know where the damage tank has gone. Probably retreated back to relative safety. But we might be able to do some good work against that tank. Yeah, and also, we have completed every building in the water park district for the first time in Tervana. One day there Wonderful. will be no borders, no boundaries, no flags, and no countries. Right, globalization. That would give us another 40.6 science. That's not bad. But we're so far behind in science already. I feel it's not really worth it to switch out. I mean, we could replace it with a five year plan, but. Because they're only the green ones, we can only go in so many spots. So unfortunately, I think it's going to have to not be put in. As useful as it would realistically be, we just can't manage it. Um, yes, we're heading towards digital democracy, which I think is useful for us. Let's just double check. Oh, do we go for digital democracy or do we go for? Environmentalism. We'll, we'll pop back for environmentalism. But digital democracy is going to give us a bunch of culture and a bunch of things to work with in terms of policy cards. 
We'll come back for environmentalism just for the additional tourism, because that will be important as well. Summer and Breaver, just keep on working on repairing things. This time, work on the sanctuary. And speaking of things, we can get another rock band down. Wonderful. I'll have to give them a name and a promotion next time. Here at Tavana, let's get a spy down. At Duro, uh, Duro Corturon, that's always hard to say. <laughs> Um, let's just go for a art museum. You guys built me a fishing, or I was about to say a fishing village, but a fishery. And are there any towns which doesn't have a governor? Tavana doesn't have a governor, which could probably do with one. It's a decently sized city. I'm well, not really sure that. Moksha is really the best person to do that, but we're going to point him to Tavana anyway, because also that gives us all available governors and just gives Tavana even more benefits in terms of production and so forth. I can't remember which. Yes, this one here, colonial taxes. No, not that one, but there, there is one which would work really well. So it's good to have a governor in there. Even if really they're not going to be used for that much. Bring the field cannon down here. Bring you down. Bring you down. We're just going to keep on, keep on attacking them. Although really attacking a, a tank with a long pointy stick doesn't feel that useful. Pericles, will you please just make peace? I will give you this piece of great works. No. Never mind, you just don't want it. I mean, you're also fascist and we're communists, so we're never going to really be friends, are we? I don't think so. Okay, let's get everyone moving forward. Let's get actually form an army with this pike and shot here. Just because that's going to help us out a little bit more. And then we also get a nearer score for the first army. It means they might actually have a better chance at survival. We'll get this field cannon moving down. And at some point we might even find some oil if we're lucky because we've been lacking in oil and this would allow us to get some planes down which would be very, very useful at telling Greece to essentially bugger off. Oh, we've been denounced by... Alexander. We have different governments. Eh, so be it. I'm not all too concerned about Alexander. He's far away. I don't think he'll be too much of an issue, really. How are we doing now in terms of culture? Oh, Mansa Moose is starting to run away with this. That's a problem. Engineering is the art of directing the great sources of power in nature for the use and convenience of man. Wonderful. So we get oil refineries down, which is always useful. What are you working towards in tech tree? Working towards combustion. Why are we working towards combustion? There must be a reason why we're working towards combustion, but I can't initially see it. Because I don't, really I just need things that boost tourism. Could go for satellites, but that's going to be a way off. Then we're probably actually better going for stuff like nuclear fission. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that instead. Combustion, I don't think we need particularly... I mean, we do need combustion, but really we're just not great with science. Uh, we do have some oil in the Empire, which is good. So let's get ourselves a builder down to deal with these. Although we can't get an oil rig down, because we haven't researched it yet. And I believe the oil rigs are over here in plastics, but we can get that fairly 
quickly actually so let's actually push that instead just to get these ore rigs up and running you can just build me a lumber mill of your dinner proper what do we do here is there anything very very useful just keep going on the campus research grants um, ooh, we could bring circuses Arpenum. Yeah, let's do that. So we, we hopefully guaranteed Arpenum as a potential city. Um, you guys need to bugger off. Um, what else can we do in Adwatuka? We go for a stupa, that's additional faith. We go for a stadium, that's tourism. As well as some bonus amenities. I think that's actually probably better, and it's not that long to do. Here in Ratchet Makos, neither of these wonders we can really head for. So actually go for an, go for an, head for an oil power plant, no go for coal, go for coal I think that's better. These tanks are a real problem because they just kind of run off. We're going to keep pushing in. And causing issues for Greece until he decides to... Go for peace. Because he's not at the moment and it's rather annoying. Uh, right, this rock band here at Samurai Breaver. I'm just going to... You can be the appealing poet. Don't know if we're going to find a water park, but we'll give it a go. Is that a water park over there? Or is that a harbour district? That's a harbour district. That's a harbour district at Palmyra. I think we might struggle to find one. I'm just going to go to Aquileia and just do it there. You guys can push down into Corinth. As can you guys. I don't need another missionary, I just need to keep on pushing. I'm hoping digital democracy will give us a big boost to our tourism and then we can go back for the bonus tourism of 25%. That will also be very useful. Aha, I found the partial tanks uh, outside Argos and Corinth. Stop. Oh, these tanks are a real problem. <laughs> I'm determined one way or another to kill these tanks, but it's really proving troublesome with the amount of tanks that are coming in. No, leave my Gassetti alone. Bugger. Auckland. I could levy the military. That's only an AT crew, it's hardly very useful. Namadao, do you have any military to spend? to send to me? You don't, or I've already levied it and it's already dead. It's very useful, and Mogadishu, I've also done the same. So we might need to pay a little bit more attention to what's going on here in Greece, or against Greece I should say. It's certainly proving somewhat problematic, just with the amount of tanks. But hopefully we'll be okay. We'll take out this tank army if we can. I wonder if there's an animation fit now. <laughs> I was wondering if there was an animation, but well, there was an animation, but not a particularly interesting one. You guys fortify. Look, Pericles, I will pay you a decent amount of diplomatic favour or money if you just want to make peace. I'll drop you 61 diplomatic favour. No, nope, you just will not do it, will you? You wouldn't even take it. Okay, you would take Samurai Breather. You wouldn't. It would take a lot of money to get you sorted, I see. Can we get a Caesar to go to war with Pericles? Would you join my war? 
Against Pericles? No, you wouldn't. You are firmly against that. Eleanor? Could we get you to do the same? What would it take? 30 gold for 30 turns. Can I not give you some whales instead? I'll give you some whales. I can give you some iron, which I have plenty spare of. That'll do. Just go to war against Pericles, please. Essentially just to buy myself some time. You don't have that much military, but you'll do well. And it's just making Pericles unpopular. Which is no bad thing, really. Edelcrest, that I'm happy that John Kurt is not winning. Although that's presumably why Pericles is just continuously able to keep doing annoying things, because he can just keep pushing forwards with the amount of money he's getting. Uh, right. We've got some money which we could spend on a little bit of military. But they're not... We don't have that many good things yet. We do really need... If we get like a battleship there... Oh, we need some coal. Who's got some coal to, to give me? If I could get a battleship down, that would really help. Uh, you've got some coal. Um, I just want to buy, like, 50 coal. What would it take? Oh, that's a lot of money, goodness. Um, I'll give you some whales, not that you would really care. It's a lot of gold per turn. Uh, what about just, like, 10 gold? Still a lot of money. What about someone who doesn't value trade as much? Okay, everyone... <laughs> as it turns out, everyone values strate strategic resources quite heavily. We've been really unlucky with our kind of terrain generation and what we've actually managed to grab. There's coal up there, but we've put made that into a national park, so we can't do anything with that. Arpanum is two turns away from revolting. As is... Oh my goodness, as is Eretium. Is this because we're doing our Britain Circuses Act? If we take Arpanum and Eretium, I'd be very happy. Just to keep on ensure, you know, that would give us more opportunities, more culture, more this, more that. I certainly wouldn't say no to some additional cities, and I don't see any other civilizations nearby that could go for them. So if we could take Eretium, Arpanum, we could push for even maybe for Ravenna. I don't know if we'd make it to Aquileia or not, but we could certainly try. These tanks are really proving troublesome. Well, hopefully once the Aedocrest, um, once the Aedocrest finishes for four Pericles, that should hopefully help us to some extent. Poor Auckland's taking an absolute battering as well. But they're holding their own, so all due credit to them. And actually having, a, having an anti-tank crew would probably be quite useful. Multitudes, multitudes in the Valley of Decision, for the day of the Lord is near. In the Valley of Decision. Okay, Digital Democracy. Which is wonderful. That is actually the furthest along we can go. So, plus two amenities in all cities, and plus two Culture Press Speciality District, but minus three Combat Strength for all units. Obviously not great, but I think that's okay. We're at 636 Culture at the moment. That's actually weirdly lowered us down a little bit. That's fine. It also just gives us a bunch of wildcard policy slots. Which is very useful indeed. So let's put in international space agency. Uh, sports media can probably go in there. Just the additional culture. As can Raj. As can communist legacy. As can, Mer as can mercantile legacy. Well, actually, Mer merchant confederacy would be better. Just want anything which gives me culture and. Cultural benefits, heritage tourism, yes please. Um, online communities want to put somewhere. That, you know, we don't have that many trade routes, but it's still better than nothing. 
Um, honestly, the Merchant Confederacy can probably go. It'd be a little bit less money, but I'd rather take online communities. Is there anything else we want to put in? That's only nine culture. I think that's fine. We'll set that agenda down. And we'll deal with the spy in a second. We've lost some coastal tiles. Where's that? I'm trying to work out where we lost those coastal tiles. I don't think we've lost it in too many places, to be honest. Right, friendship with Julius Caesar's run its course. Let's make friends with him again. Because if we're going to go flip his cities, Arpanum next turn and Eretium a little bit later on, that will be important. Right, before we push forward for near future governance, we're going to go back to environmentalism because that's just a whack more tourism across the empire, which is useful. You're going to come here and you're going to not raid because you don't have enough things left. A former core, be a little bit more protected that way. And I will continue my attempts to make peace. As someone tells me, probably won't be very successful for now. Go to Olympia just to kind of cause some issues, hopefully, for them. You guys come up here and stay a little while to actually be able to do anything useful. Of your dinner, uh, keep working on your Theatre Square festivals. Over in Tavana. What do we just do there in Tavana? We just completed a spy, so. Go for a builder. Go for a builder, we'll put some mines down over there. We are the. Are we the first in a tier 4? No, we may not be the first in a tier 4 government, but that's okay. I really hope that was the right one to go for. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Let's go over here. The other ones were kind of more production-y based or lacked tourism, so I, I do think digital democracy was the best one to go for. Ooh, 784.6. We're really starting to push something now with the tourism. Even if a lot of that is coming from our Theatre Square festivals, I do not mind, for sure. Okay, there's no more of the Great Generals. Right. Okay, Marianne Collett will go this turn, either to Australia or France. In terms of great works, how are we doing? We need another. We need another couple of sculptures. We've got plenty of sculptures that we could usefully put somewhere. Possibly some more landscapes as well wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, Eleanor, have you got any sculptures for me? Maybe you do have Beard of the Evangelist, but I'm not paying you that much money for it. Goodness me. Um, no, I'm not paying you that much. Uh, Gitarj, uh, you're not really, a, no, you're not a great works kind of person. Any useful things here from Rome? Writings, portraits, not so much. Pachacuti, do you have anything of interest for me? Writing, religious... Nothing there either. I wish you could make um, great writing ones, that'd be quite useful. Um, necklace, industrial artifacts, music. What about Marley? I mean, I don't really want to give Marley more money, but it'd be probably quite useful. I can go for these mm. portraits. What would it take? That's honestly not too bad, I'll say that. I mean, it's a lot of money to give away. 
but I think in the long run it'd be worth it. Because people have portraits. So I just need to put it in a actual proper art museum. For now it can go over to here. You can just go to the Hermitage for now. You go to Bibrax, along with the other ones, wherever they've gone. There's another portrait there in Bibrax. And we just need to get one more portrait, not by Rembrandt or Titian. <laughs> Let's see if we can find one. That's a portrait by Rembrandt. There we go, that'll do. By Angelica Kaufman. I don't want to give you that much money. Uh, do you want some horses? No, you've got plenty of horses. The whales won't also do that much. Look, I'm happy to give you a great, uh, a great work of writing because this will still work out better for me. And I will give you a little bit of money as well because I am aware they're not quite as good. And if I go back to my great works... Where's that one gone? Over here, by Angelica Kaufman. And Bibrex is now themed. Excellent. Very, very good indeed. You guys can't do much because these blooming tanks are causing such problems. Uh, actually, Auckland, I'm going to levy your military. First of all, that's another two era school, and you also have anti tank weaponry, which I want. <laughs> Given that we are facing so many tanks, it would make sense. Um, right, I'm not sure we're going to find wa any water parks. Is that a water park over there? That's a harbour. That's a water park of Sasau. Not Sasau. Sousa? Something like that, but we'll send you over. Ooh, I think Alpham's going to flip next turn. There we go, Alpham's flipped, excellent. It's a free city, but I'm hoping it's going to fall to us. Same with Eretium. And because it's forms fall as a free city, I don't think Rome can get angry with us. At least in principle. Okay, Greece is coming in with a sizable force of tanks. This could be problematic. Thank you, France. You are helping me out. I just my I get my own tanks out, but I will need oil for that, which we are slowly working towards. Summer Breaver, keep working on those bread and circuses. Be very useful indeed. Now, Arpenum, who are you going to fall to? Yeah, you're going to fall to, to us in about nine turns. Aretium, how long till you fall? Five turns, excellent. Who's our friendship run out with? Mansa Musa. We can get that started up again. Huh. Alliance, if I give a cultural... I'm trying to think of something which would be useful for us. Guitar job would be good for like a military alliance. Yeah. Um, would you take a military alliance? Would you give me something? Would you give me some money? Give me three gold per turn. Would you give me war and peace? No, you wouldn't give me war and peace. That's fine. I wouldn't mind some of your coal or nitre, but I'll just take some money. That's okay. So military alliance with Katarja. And production over in Ratumakos. We can, oh, we can bread and circus is here as well. But I think we're doing okay in terms of bread and circuses. You could probably do some more useful things. Who's going to win? Oh, John Curtin's going to come second. That's fine. Eleanor of Aquitaine has won that. That's good. Uh, go for Theatre Square Thingamajig. You guys are going to come down here to try to deal with these tanks. These oh so problematic tanks. You guys can't do much just yet. You can hopefully finish off this ironclad. 
Yes, you can, good. That means we don't have to repair our water park, which is very useful. You guys, come over here. I want you to get some gold by pillaging that uh, commercial hub, because it's also just less money for Pericles going forward. But we probably want to think about some more military units. I do just want a little bit of coal, mind. But here's 10. I just want 10 coal off you, and I'll give you, say, 30 diplomatic favour. <laughs> and a little bit of money. Because then I'm going to go to. to Havana, I think. And I'll get myself a petal ship. It's our first seafaring unit, so it's another bit of score. But also, I'm hoping you are going to be pretty decent at taking out the tanks. That's my hope anyway. It's a lot of money to invest, but we can just sit it there and rain down fire from the sea, from the sea line or the, the shore, the coastline, whatever you'd like to call it. Please, Eleanor, stop doing that with your tourism. Lance Moose is starting to run away, there, but goodness me, five... Pachacuti has got so many tourists. <laughs> well, we're not far behind, but still. We're so far ahead in terms of culture and tourism, it's a little frustrating we're not doing better than we are. But hey ho. We just have to manage one way or another. Always considered that the substitution of the internal combustion engine for the horse marked a very gloomy milestone in the progress of mankind. Okay, so we've got combustion, and we work towards plastics, and Eleanor takes the win, not John Curtin. Excellent. Six turns of plastics, and that will give us the ability to make oil rigs, spec ops, and also bonuses to fishing boats which will be very useful indeed. You guys just keep working on these square festivals. Uh, Tavana, what do we want to do with you? Go for a neighbourhood. We don't need another neighbourhood really. Um, you just keep on working on these square festivals as well. Duracrotoran, um, get your battleship out on 10. Wouldn't be the worst thing to do. Although we'd probably be able to buy it quicker. So we just work on a broadcast centre. This ship needs to make it all the way over yonder. Uh, you are going to come over here and build some things for me. You are just gonna, we're gonna keep you all, put you on sleep for now. You're gonna come over to this water park. Oh boy, oh, I don't think we're going to win this, but we'll give it a bloody good effort. How's the sides going? Wilhelmina is starting to work on nanotechnology. Or working on launching the Mars colony, that could be a problem. Just so many tourist things we need to work on. We'll be able to take Arpenum, which will be good. I'm curious to see why Rome is struggling so much, but I'm not going to complain. As long as this tank army does not come in and attack me, otherwise we're going to have real problems, Caesar. You know, you've got open borders, that's okay. You're probably attacking Arpenum. Not a problem. Gattaja has made peace with Pericles, that is a problem. And someone is neutralized Magnus. That's not a huge problem, really. Okay, this AT crew is going to take a lot of flak, but it's going to hopefully manage. Ah, there's an ironclad there from Greece. That is problematic. We're going to have to pull back from Getting that destroyed. 
I'm going to have to pull that battleship back because it's going to get absolutely destroyed by the ironclad. Because the ironclad is more of a melee ship, isn't it? Yes, it is. This war is not going overly well, it must be said. Let's pull back. And we can recruit an Antonin Dvorak, which is good. And you can go up to Bibrax and do it there. Production wise, at Adoratuka, we need to probably go for some more military. But without oil, we've got some real issues. We can't make tanks or battleships or artillery. Can't make our own tanks either. Can't make our own AT crews, which is a problem in itself. And really, the pike and shot are not strong enough. Uh, repair the outer defences. And we are running out of military in a hurry. Oh, you'll do it for a lot of money per turn. What about some one-off money? I'll give you pretty much all my money. I'm not giving you 158 gold per turn. Absolutely not. What about some diplomatic favour? I just really need to actually be doing other things with my day than fighting you. Look, just... You can take all my money, but just... He really wants 158 gold per turn, doesn't he? Hmm. What about if I give you some writings as well? No, I'm not paying you 158 gold per turn. Absolutely not. So my breather, keep working on those uh, bread and circuses. Bibrax, work on, I guess you can work on pike and shot. Uh, go for a holy site actually. Help us out a little bit with a bit more faith. It's not going to be perfect by any means, but better than nothing. Uh, Magnus is neutralised for another six turns. Right, we are <laughs> struggling. Wilhelmina, I require stuff. How much would you pay for all my diplomatic favour? I'm guessing not that much. I know the Ten gold per turn, not really worth it. All because I attacked your city like 2,000 years ago. Right, probably we need to actually just focus on some form of military. Even if it's kind of terrible military, it's still better than nothing. That ship might still be useful just not against ironclads. But it's also destroying all our stuff, which is hardly very useful. Because it's destroying our universities and other such things. I shall return again to the light of the sun to prepare a home for thy descendants. Okay, excellent. That's a nice big boost to our tourism. Now, is there any other useful things we can grab in terms of tourism? Or other such things? Or we, we could go to the future era, it's probably the best option just to really try and get ourselves to gain the tourism benefits. Uh, we'll send you over to Rome. You need to fire on 
that tank. You can fire on this cavalry arm, and I think you'll be able to destroy it. No, you didn't. That's annoying. You nearly did, but not quite. Um, let's just keep on pumping out the pike and shots until we're ready with plastics. Our lack of science really has been a bit of a problem. You can go in there and do okay. I mean, it's going to knock you down, but that's not a problem. I mean, it is a problem, but we might even be able to use this battleship to finish this tank off. Yes, good. We're going to keep that battleship stationed there. You can hopefully do some good work. We, that ironclad, however, is a problem that we need to deal with. Movia Dunham. Uh, go for a neighbourhood, just to get some more housing down. And I think you'll be able to work on some tourism-y stuff with that neighbourhood down as well. Over in Ratumakos, we can go for... Go for Brent Circuses here as well, just to ensure we get Arpidum and Eretium on our side. Uh, although I really don't see how Arpidum is going to manage to um, not come over to us. That's a bit like the Jaws theme, but not. Right, over at Sas... Uh, I'm going to say Sassau, it's not. Sal salsa. Um, right, give me some tourism, please. It's hardly ideal, and there's not going to be many other water parks around, realistically. It's a harbour. That's a water park over there. You can go perform over there next. Hopefully soon we can get some more, another rock band down. Should be very useful indeed. Oh, again, someone is... Oh, it's only pike and shots in Novia Dunham, that's not too bad. Uh, Eretium has fallen as well. Eretium and Arpenum have now fallen, which is pretty good. Justice. Um, and we've got near future states. governance, which is wonderful. The administration of just um, there's nothing we can actually do there. I don't think that's that useful. Right, that's fine. You guys come up here. And in terms of civics, we need to focus on cultural things. Cultural. Uh, that one there is pretty useful. Spaceport, aluminium. Space tourism would also be pretty useful. We'll take global warming mitigation. And then we'll go for the uh, cultural hem heg Oh, I'm not going to even try that. <laughs> but I mean, having the rock bands to be able to produce some any um, separate things would be pretty useful. In fact, we'll go. F no, we will go for that one first. You, it's going to build me some mines. Sam and Breaver, keep working on Bren Circuses, please. It's probably the best thing you can be usefully doing. Adelcrest, how are we doing? Oh, Perry is doing very well. Sensor made. You guys push over here. I promise you're quite a battered and broken battleship. We need to really heal you up, but hopefully with XP we can manage. Um, in terms of envoys, we've got three to send. Could try to go for Leventa. Give us some more faith, and we might be able to get Suzerainty of it. It's giving us a little extra face, that's not terrible. You need to head over to Ratumakos via Bibrax. You just need to heal up. 
Uh, Governor Pingar, we don't really need more of. Uh, what about you? Yes, this would be quite useful. Uh, let's take Forward Investor. And then Puppeteer to get additional envoys that'd be useful. And that might also s potentially solve our coal situation as well. Um, these Protestants in Nodrid Dinan are frustrating, but we should be able to manage. I would hope anyway. It's a lot of tanks. <laughs> a problematic amount of tanks, for sure. How long till Arpenham falls? Seven. Five turns. Okay, we're having some minor issues here in Adwatuka. Must be said. Had, had we not sent the battleship the wrong way, we might have been okay. Right, you guys, you're going to fire over here. There's a tank army there, which is horrendous to have to try to deal with. Just the, the lack of oil and any other such things has really hurt us this campaign. Um, we don't need another trade. I'm going to see our trader might have been raided. Just keep on pumping out the pike and shots. I don't see what else we can do, really. And let's get our other great work down. Very nice indeed. This build over here is just going to go build another mine, and we can keep on working on these chaps over here. So now we do just have to do some repairs, unfortunately. We have the Greek Empire pillaged our trade route. So we'll get down another trade in some Rebriva. And work from there. It's been such an issue. We haven't got aluminium. We haven't got oil. We were getting oil. We had we have we had no coal in our empire that we know of. Some might have been under horses or other such things, I suppose. But it's been a real problem. Um, you generate some tourism here, please. 750 tourism, that's better than nothing. We need to find some more places for you to perform at, but there's only going to be so many water parks you can do, so. Is that a water park there? That's probably a harbour. It's indeed a harbour. I think that might be a. That's a water park though. I'll send you off down there. And. Back up to Greece and the constant war, which is not going very well. As long as we don't lose Adoratuka, which is a very significant possibility at this stage. Would you make peace? No. For even, you want even more money than last time. But what if I give you the Sistine Chapel ceiling? No. <laughs> Still a lot of money. That would be pretty much all our money. As we're spending a lot of money at the moment. Let's... I really don't want to give him 170 gold per turn. That's a lot. Really more than I'm willing to give away, to be perfectly honest. It's just unfortunate, really. Um, but there's a lot of spies causing issues in our cities as well. So we'll have to see how this goes. Um, we're doing well in second place in culture. And Mansa Musa is doing even better. But I also imagine that the war is not really helping this in any regard either. And that tank army is pushing on Adawatuka.
goodness. Come on, Auckland. Hold out. <laughs> you know, our city states are doing admirable, admirable work, but it's not quite enough at the moment. You guys go to. Uh, and Duro Cortu. We've got that one, haven't we? Duro Corteron. Duro Corturum. Interesting, not the same place. I want to send this to Brussels just for the money and the extra thing. You guys can just about make it to that tank over there. And we need to focus on this tank army, even though we're going to really barely hit it for anything. We just need to try buy ourselves time. Uh, John Cutting is now friendly with us, that's interesting, that wasn't always the case. Uh, what about a friendship? Wonderful. Same with Eleanor of Aquitaine. And same with Patch Kuti. Do we take the ceasefire? It's at 182 gold. He's only going to keep on increasing it. That's probably all our money. Oh, this is a decision I don't really want to have to make. With the benefit, or once we get Arpadum and Eretium into the Empire, this would be very useful. Keep working on bread and circuses. Retium will fall to us as well? It will, but not quite as much. And what about stuff at like Aquileia? Well, once we get Retium and Arpadum on one side, the rest might follow. Mavidunum, you need to repair a lot of things. Problem is, I'm giving so much gold to Greece per turn. No, we're going to hold out as long as possible. Just start pumping out piking shots until we get our oil. We need to get this plastics down as soon as we can. Uh, how much did that send aid actually do for us? A little bit. Oh, we don't want John Curtin winning. Uh, we'll keep on sending aid. We need to save the money really for ourselves. Um, what can we do? Be useful. Try do some unrest. Probably better than nothing. Oh, that battleship is ready for promotion. We should, probably should have promoted them to be able to push in next time. Coming out of Matuka, you need to hold out. I really don't want to have to spend like 800 gold. You'll give me 30 gold per turn for open borders, but you want... So 4-4 four, four for 5... That's fine. I'll lose one culture, but I get 30 gold per turn. And at the moment, that is of far more importance to me with the threat of Greece on the horizon. So the moment Ado Tufu is going to really start taking a battering. Actually, not as much as I thought. Not as much as I thought. The defences will hold out pretty well against that army. And who have we met? We've just met Buenos Aires. You, and we're going to take out that cavalry army, wonderful. You're going to be promoted because you'll do a lot more work once you are set up. Keep working on this tank army here. I know these pike shots are pretty much throwing themselves away. But I think it's worth it just to ensure that Aduatuka survives. And once we get oil and stuff, that will really start to help us. Uh, Buenos Aires, are you... Oh goodness, Marley. Marley's doing well. Um, Buenos Aires, are you worth getting on side? Your bonus resources behave like luxury resources, providing one man in T-type. I'm pretty useful. 
And we can take it away from Mansa Musa. It shouldn't be a bad thing. Keep working on Theatre Square Districts. You come over here and put a mine down on this Mercury, please. And we can actually get a corporation down. Excellent. Uh, Bibrax, you're going to fire on that Ironclad. Um, we need to get another builder down. So we can actually put down a... That's a lot of money to spend. I really hope we don't need it for anything else. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. Having seen how little damage the tank army did to Adoratuka, I'm less concerned. Rome's also denounced Greece, which is actually very useful of it. Problem is, Greece just has so much money, they can just keep on pumping out these units, really. Our Oppidum, I don't think, is going to hold. But we're definitely going to deal with that tank army once and for all if we can. That tank army will go down, which is good. Mittler's to clear war on Alexander. Oh, Mittler's to clear war on Pericles, excellent. And we have to be the world's first civic from a new era of discovery in the future era, excellent. Nothing on this earth lasts forever. We also get plastics. Except maybe plastic. So we can get oil rigs down, Better excellent. This malefactor to the jagged rocks in adamantine bonds infrangible. I honestly could try for a diplomatic victory. It would be the worst thing to go for. Um, I'm going to go for combined arms. Because it might get to the point where we just need to um, drop a nuke on Greece. Because they're being rather troublesome and annoying. Right, you build me an offshore oil rig. I finally have some oil, thank goodness. Um, right, you, future civic, I think it's a diplomatic favour, it's not ideal. Um, let's go for this one here. I mean, diplomatic favour is by no means bad. Um, this builder can come over. What were you going to do? You were going to work on the Mercury for me, weren't you? Yes, you were. Um, we've also already got an industry. I'm hoping we can get a corporation down. You're going to head over here. You are going to attack that ironclad, which you've. That ironclad has just attacked our fishing line, which is annoying. Soon we can get down some planes. Kind of old fashioned planes by today's standards. But still pretty useful nonetheless. I want to get this tank army if I can. Uh, you are going to focus on here. This battleship can't actually reach in at the moment, unfortunately. And wouldn't do much against the ironclad down there. Ratumakos, you're going to convert to oil power, so we might be able to get some coal back. Um. Tavana. Tavana, let's go for another builder. And we've got three envoys, so we'll send them out to Buenos Aires. Or we could take Leventa. And Leventa's down here, let's actually do that instead. There'll be a little bit more faith. But most of all, it will just give us another suzerain tea. Um, and hopefully they'll be able to go and annoy Greece. Because they'll go attack Greece. A bit with a very limited military. <laughs> that battleship can't do anything this turn. And... Yes. We are really going to have to... Maybe nuke Greece, which is not going to make us very popular on the world stage. Really at all. But needs must, I think. Mansa Musa is just doing better than us in terms of culture. He's about double of what we are at the moment. I mean, we're in a strong second place position, for sure. And we're actually leading in terms of domestic tourists, which is good. 
but we've got a lot more tourists needed yet before we can even think about a victory. That tank army is pulled back, but we should be able to deal with it with our battleship next turn. We do not want it healing up. I don't mind so much about an artillery army, but the tank army, that's a problem. We also should be able to get another... Ooh, we get up and I'm wonderful. One turn of starvation. Well, no wonder you're... No wonder they're running away. Uh, let's take out that tank army. We do not want it causing issues going forward. Somehow didn't die. That's incredibly infuriating. Uh, you guys, focus on there. We need to repair a lot of things here <laughs> at Adoratuka. Starting with the university. Uh, we're going to keep up on them. You're going to come down there. Up on them. You do now have surplus food, which is good. Go for a monument, because you somehow don't have one, which is ridiculous. No wonder you're having issues with culture. Repair the um, broadcast centre at San Rebriva. We should still be in line to get a retium, albeit not for a little while yet. Over at Bibrax, you are now stagnated. That's because your housing is absolutely terrible. So put down neighbourhood district there. Uh, we have lost some coastal tiles there, I see. That's okay. We will leave things there for today. We are just about holding the line against Pericles. Just. We've actually overtaken John Curtin in score. We're now into fourth place in terms of score. Mansa Musa might run away with this, though. We will just have to see. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.